counting. One, two, twenty. We are counting. One, two, twenty. We are counting. One, two, twenty. Who will do it with me? Are you ready? I know you are ready. Good afternoon, little angels. I hope you enjoyed the lessons. It's your teacher, Anonsieta. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Now, we did the numbers 1 to 10, and I showed you the, who can remind me the three the main lines that we use when we write in these numbers. Three, the main, main lines that we use when we write in numbers. We said we use a straight line, we use another one that looks like this, another one like this, then we have two curves facing in the opposite directions. Someone can come and write for us numbers 1 to 10 the way we did it last time. Someone please. Uh -huh. So the numbers were written well on the board. 1, uh -huh. one. then we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight nine and ten and we say when you're writing these numbers be very careful you must know the direction in which the number is supposed to look and go don't write for me two like this don't write for me three like this don't write for me four like this five like this look at the numbers the way they're supposed to look like are you seeing the direction the way they are looking like and where they are supposed to face? Make sure you follow that. Now there is something I told you when we are doing numbers the, using bundles, showing numbers using bundles. And I told you, when I am writing this number and the number is single like that, like 1, like 2, like 3, like 4, like 5, like 6, like 7, like 8, where does the number belong? Does it belong in the tens or in the ones? And we all learned that these numbers up to number 9, they are free numbers. They don't have any other number attached to it. So the number belongs to the ones place value. But when you start from 10, now you have two numbers attached to each other. So which number will appear in the ones and which number will appear in the tens? The number that will appear in the ones, it is the zero. And the number that it's on the left side appears in the tens. Okay, so which will be the next number? So we are saying 10 is one bundle of 10 sticks. Now I've been given one bundle of 10 sticks and a one stick. One bundle of 10 sticks and a one stick. Which number is that? That number is 11. How do I write 11? 11 has two ones, a one and a one. How do I write it? Do I write it going the other way? Do I write it going this way? We have learned that this, the first one will appear in the ones, like the ones up. But the, the second arm, one, will appear in the tens place value. Are we together? When I am going to write the next number, which will be the next number, I have one bundle of ten sticks with two sticks that are just hanging. What will I say? The number is one bundle of ten sticks and so we are saying one bundle of 10 sticks is 1, 10, and 2 ones. Which number is this? This is, which number is this? This number is 12. So what will I come? I will draw my place value table and realize that this ones is here and this tens is here. So when I'm writing my number 12, 2 will be under 2, but 1 will appear on this side. Ahead. 1, 10, and 3 ones will be equal to which number? It equals to 13. So where will be my 3? My 3 will be under 3, but my 1 will be on this side. Uh huh. We come to number 4. I have 1, 10, and 4 ones. 1, 10, and 4 ones. 1, 10, and 4 ones will be equal to 14. So my number 14 will appear under number 4, and my 1, 10 will appear on the left side. I have 1, 10, and 5 ones. 1, 10, and 5 ones is equal to which number? Is equal to 15. So my number 5 will be written under 5. And then the 1 appears in the 10th place value. 
I have one ten and six ones. Which number is that? That is number 16. So my six appears under six, but my one appears on this other side. Aha! I have one ten and seven ones. Which number is that? That is 17. So my seven appears under seven and my one appears on the other side. I have one ten and eight ones. Which number is that? That is number Yes, Janet, 18. So 8 appears under 8 and 1 appears on the left side. I'm remaining here with another number. Yeah, I have 1, 10 and 9 ones. Which number is that? That is number 19. So how am I going to write my number 19? The 9 appears under 9 and the 1 appears on the left side. Now, after 19, which number follows? I have been having one ten and two ones, one ten three ones, one ten and four ones, one ten and five ones, one ten and six ones, one ten and seven ones, one ten and eight ones, one ten and nine ones. Now we want to fill these nine ones. What we, when we fill these nine ones, what will they give us? They will give us another ten. So how many bundles of ten will you have? And have two bundles of 10. Two bundles of 10 is equals to which number? We said two bundles of 10 gives us number 20. Two bundles of 10 gives us number 20. So today we have learned on how to write numbers 1 to 20 and we have done it very well. Look at the board. Let us read the numbers nicely. Which number is this? Yes, we chant all of us together. We are learning how to count. We are learning how to count. We are learning how to count the numbers. 1 to 12 to 20. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, if I'm given my book on the board, if I'm told now, you have your exercise book here, and the book looks like this. Are you seeing? This is how your book looks like. You all have square books. True or false? True. And this is how our books look like. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing the way the books look like? This is how our books look like. So I want us to copy these numbers 1 to 20 neatly in our books. I want us to copy numbers 1 to 20 neatly in our book. For example, I'm supposed to write here number 16. I will not come and write here 16. No. How will you write? How will you know where the tens are, where the ones? I will not write like that. I will come next and ask myself. Our teacher taught us how to write the tens and the ones. So how will number 16 appear in the box? Number 16 will appear like this in the box. Then you skip another box and go to number 17. Then you skip another box and go to number 18. So I want to see every number in its own box. So let us start from numbers 1, 2, 3, like that, right? Then neatly. And make sure you shape your numbers like neatly. And every number should be in its own box. Are we together? In its own box. Thank you very much. And I wish you well as you continue to wait for the next lesson that we're going to talk about numbers 21 to 30.